What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. AI tools have taken over 2023 by storm with tools like OpenAI's ChatGPT breaking records as well as Midjourney and Dolly becoming complete disruptors. What if I was to tell you they are just the beginning and that there are so many other awesome tools that you can get your hands on right now for free and it will completely change the way that you work. Well, stick around because I'm gonna be going over a tool that will most likely get banned. Another one that's gonna save you a huge amount of time when making presentations and one that's honestly super fun to prank all of your friends with. Anyways, I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. So first up, we have Compose AI. Now, most people know that ChatGPT is super awesome for writing those boring emails that you don't wanna respond to. Well, guess what? Compose AI does pretty much what ChatGPT does, except it's plugged right into your browser, so you don't have to be switching back and forth different tabs and copying and pasting, because let's face it, in the world of AI, you shouldn't have to be doing anything manually. That was a joke, guys, by the way. Don't don't murder me in the comments. The cool thing about Compose AI is that it'll read your emails on a specific thread and let you respond very quickly. So you can click this button right here that says say yes, and it will actually compose an email that says yes to whatever it is that was being talked about. Or you can say no in a very polite and not rude manner at all, as well as being able to give it specific text prompts for what you wanna tell a person without sounding completely unprofessional. So hey, now this is just the tip of the iceberg with this AI because you can also use it inside of a text editing document like Google Docs. You can make it give you things like a bullet pointed list of ideas or a paragraph about a specific subject. And you can do that all without leaving that tab and going over to ChatGPT. Okay, next up we have 11 Labs. Now this one has to be one of my favorite AI tools because months ago there was notice that this tool was gonna get shut down and banned. Guess what? It is months later and this tool is still available. You can still use it. Now, I know a bunch of people are going to be like, hey, Nate, this is not completely free because there is a trial period. However, I will say that I've gotten away using this AI for a long period of time. I'm able to make a bunch of different results using it without having to actually pay for a subscription. And a little cool 21st century hack is just make another email and bam, all of a sudden you get another you know, trial period. The cool thing about this trial period is that it's not just by a time limit, but actually by a character amount of 30000 characters which I, I haven't even scratched the surface of so I think you guys will be safe here now the reason why this app was gonna get banned and shut down was because a lot of people were taking clips of like Joe Biden or Joe Rogan I don't know why they take all the Joe named people but yeah they, they take those people's voices since there's a lot of content out there with just their voices and they uploaded it and then they're instantly able to recreate their voice and make them say all sorts of crazy stuff and if you're curious how you can get around using this AI without actually owning another person's voice there's really just a checkbox that says i own this voice and that's it whereas some of the other ai tools that clone voices they require you to have a specific script that most people don't have this one's super flexible in that regards now so far i've used this to prank some of my friends into thinking that i hired someone to tell them the very specific relations i've been having with their mothers which is not only immature but i gotta say it's, it's actually pretty fun the really cool thing about this ai generator and voice synthesis tool is just just how expressive and lifelike the voice sounds like it doesn't sound like Siri or Google's voice AI that just sounds super robotic it actually sounds pretty realistic now I've messed around with this before but for some reason I thought the voice sounded a little bit more not me but I'll let you guys decide for yourself does this sound like me this this next section is gonna get read entirely by the AI that it generated let me know in the comments what you think does this AI voice actually sound like me if so it should be able to say things like pooping balls with no problem whatsoever. Or maybe it can't say that. I don't know, you decide, is this close enough to me to pass? By the way, all the emotions here are made by this AI. Kind of freaky. Subscribe and hit like if you're enjoying this video. Okay, sorry, I had to plug that in there. Here at number three, we have Runway ML. This has been out for a while, but I gotta say, I haven't gotten into using it until more recently. The really cool thing about this tool is that it is completely in browser and it lets you edit not only videos right there inside of your browser, but it lets you do some really complex VFX level stuff with the power of AI. So traditionally, if I wanted to remove something from a scene, I would have to spend hours on After Effects, like masking out stuff and then filling in the background and having the 
shoot the video in a pretty specific way. However, using the power of AI, I can just quickly scribble over whatever I want to remove and then bam, instantly the inpainting feature in Runway ML will remove it from that entire video clip even if it's moving cameras and all over the place. So this is freaking awesome. It definitely helps shave hours and hours off of a workload that requires removing stuff from the background. And guess what? This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to AI powered video editing. There are just so many more tools that I can't even get into in this video. So hey, you guys want to check it out? Go ahead, look down below. Now there may not be a free trial available for this at the moment. I kind of got it a little bit earlier and I've been seeing them shift their pages around a lot. But if you guys are still curious, aren't able to get access to it, I do have a contact who's over there at Runway. If you leave enough comments down below, maybe we can get some free trials out for everyone. Anyways, on to the next one. This next tool is Descript. And the reason why I love it is because it completely rethinks the way that editing videos should go. Traditionally, video editing requires a video clip and you to cut video. However, Descript flips this on its head and instead you upload whatever video you want to edit and instantly it's going to use its AI to actually transcribe the entire video. So if you want to change certain sections, cut things out, rearrange them, you actually get this text document on the side here that you can rearrange stuff and it's going to apply that to the video as well. Not only that, but you can also upload hours of your voice so it can clone your voice. And if you mispronounce something or want to change what you say, you can actually type in what you want your own voice to say and it's gonna fill that in pretty cool and I really love how they rethought video editing I'm just hoping that Adobe comes out with something similar because let's face it Adobe's been slacking guys like come on come up with something pretty cool like Descript here we have Toom this one is also pretty awesome because it helps create presentations instantly now you don't need a whole bunch of background research to create a pretty good looking presentation instead you go to the browser type in what you want to create a presentation on bam it's gonna start filling in the layouts that it has and also creating images using mid journey that match whatever content that you want instantly you have a pretty decent looking presentation I was pretty mindful to see how little I could actually give it as a prompt and how much of a result it would create this is next level guys now most people know about chat GPT but surprisingly not most people know about GPT 3 playground which is what chat GPT is mostly based off of so if you want a more unrestricted and free Form the use of ChatGPT without the servers being down all the time, or maybe some of the results getting filtered out. I recommend you check out GPT-3. It's also created by OpenAI, except the way you get to it is a little bit different. You have to go onto their beta playground section of the site. And the UI may not look the prettiest, but the results, I gotta say, really, really impressive. I've actually used this to create a contract super easily. I'm gonna just type in, hey, write me a contract. I can talk to it much like I would with ChatGPT, except one of the huge things that I've noticed in chat GPT is that you can't make it write an erotic novel for you. It's going to filter that out. And sometimes even if you ask it to write a love poem, it's going to say, sorry, can't do that, you know, guidelines and whatnot. Whereas GPT-3 Playground is not going to restrict you in those regards. Instead, it's going to give you those answers, which is super cool. I've been able to make a certain text prompt go from rated G to rated X and back to G without any problems at all. So use at your own discretion. Those are some of the mind-blowing revolutionary AIs that have come out recently, but I'm pretty sure this year is going to be jam-packed with even more tools and stuff coming out. Like we got Google's Bard coming out soon. Bing is going to get ChatGPT implemented as well as some updates to Microsoft Edge. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. So if you guys want to stay up to date, know what's going on, make sure that you go ahead, hit that subscribe button, ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the super dope stuff that we're going to be covering. Also, you might want to check out how awesome ChatGPT is at writing code for Blender to create all sorts of awesome stuff. You can also check out this video, which is Google's AI recommending a video that it thinks you're going to like. So up to you. Choices are endless. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.